Hello, read the problem, try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so there's a lot of context in, in these probability situations and and it's really worth our time to kind of step back and make sense of what's going on. So first of all right here, there's a combination lock with 30 different positions. All right, well, a combination lock usually has some kind of wheel on it that you're turning around, let's say. And on that wheel, you turn, 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 there's a certain amount of numbers. So this is saying, here's some context, that there are going to be all the way around, as you turn this lock, 30 different positions. Now we say positions because we don't know if they're numbers or letters or whatever, but there's 30 of them. So we can say, all right, in order for that to happen, you have to have all the numbers 1 through 30 inclusive. So there's like a 1 here, then a 2, and then a 3, all the way around to 30, maybe over here. And you turn the lock around to different numbers, or to open that lock. So it says to open the lock, the dial is turned a certain number in the clockwise direction, so you turn this way, then to a number in the counterclockwise direction, backward the other way, and finally to a, a third number in the clockwise direction. So you go back, forth, and back again. If successive numbers in the combination cannot be the same, how many different combinations are possible? For example, a code could be 1, 2, 1, but not 1, 1, 2. So if you look at these, right, let's look at that situation, 1, 2, and 1, 1, 1, 2. Well, here we chose a 1, and there were 30 possibilities. Now the next number after it, 2 is OK. It just said the numbers can't be equal. So, so there are 30 choices here. Any number is fine. But the next number just can't be the same. So there are 29 choices. But then, after that, this third number, this is tricky. It has to be, it can't be a 2, right? But it can be a 1. So all, you're only losing that one number from the 30 possibilities. So there are 29 possibilities that remain. And this will give us the total number of permutations. The only rule is that two numbers in a row, that this can't happen, right? You can't have two numbers in a row be the same number. So it's 30 times 29 times 29. We'll calculate that, and then we're done. 30 times 29 times 29 is 25,230. So 25,230. Uh, I often make the mistake when I solve this problem of writing 30 times 29 times 30 again here, but uh, just because you can repeat that one from the beginning, right, that number comes back, you still lose the two before it. So you, you, although you can pick the one again in this third spot, you can't pick that two. So there's still only 29 possibilities. Be careful. All right, thanks.